very welcome. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we are excited to have you here to share your journey of awakening through music. Tell yeah. us about yourself, Chloe. Yeah. So, um, well, ironically enough, I'm half Canadian and this is where I went to preschool, Kingston, um, which is crazy. My grandma went to elementary school down the street. So this is kind of full circle. But um, for me, I began writing when I was six years old and uh, played piano and then uh, it was a group in a very musical household so that was something that just kind of naturally came about oh. but when I was 11 I got really sick and I uh, was kind of isolated from school pulled out of sixth grade and for me music became my way to heal and wow. um, it always was I feel like a place to go to find peace um, but it really became that outlet to under try to understand what yes. was going on um, and and that expression yeah so from six years old yeah. you've been playing the piano yeah. and doing music yep, yeah yep. and then taught myself guitar when I was 11 Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah. And uh, this illness mm -hmm. that uh, that brought you back to music at yeah. age 12. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Being isolated. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, it was How wild. did that feel? <laughs> it was uh, obviously incredibly lonely and scary, especially that's kind of like that pivotal age right between like, you know, being a preteen and a teenager and kind of that last year of childhood in a way. Absolutely. Um, but it definitely framed my perspective on what was important. I mean, I remember literally thinking, okay, I just, I want to go outside. I want to, you know, I want to sm smell the roses. You know, I want to go play with my friends. I want to go to school. I want to learn, you know, like these little things that we take for granted on a regular basis. Of and, course. And family, time with your family. And, um, and so that, yeah, became more of my focus rather than, you know, when you're younger and it's like, gifts and toys and you know what I mean just like my wow. maturity level and my perspective of the world changed and definitely um yeah and even so just like wanting to be able to contribute something positive um I think right then it started to shift for me oh my goodness yeah. <laughs> so from from this illness I actually help you mm. to um through this journey, awaken yeah. this the the the, the, music, the musician in you, yeah, definitely. and not only the musician in you, but the healer in you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, I always say like people are like, "Do you wish it never happened?" I'm like, "No, I would I would do it all over again." I think it led me exactly where I was supposed to be, and and you know prepared me for things that I would face down the road as I got older, whether it was, um, you know, massive breakup, you know what I mean? And, yes. you know, crazy relationships and stuff like that. And having to, you know, realize that I could work through it and I was going to make it through. I've made it through a lot worse scenarios, I guess, um, if you call it worse, <laughs> just different, <laughs> but um, I could do it again. And, uh, and then, yeah, also just being able to understand what it's like to feel misunderstood and to feel alone and not want anybody else to feel like that. And we all do, but if I could, if I could help it, I would do something about it. And um, for me, it was, it was music helped me feel connected. So if I could make music and help somebody else feel understood or related to, then, you know, I did my job. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kind of. y yeah. y you know, when we talk about healing, y mm -hmm. you know, um, a lot of people feel that, y you know, it's about um, when we do things, it's, it's for others. But most mm -hmm. times it's about us. It's about it's right. about our own emotional, mental sure. uh, well-being. Because if yeah. we can't do it for ourselves. Yes you know, we mm -hmm. can't help others. Exactly, yeah, and that kind of became my focus, you know, leading up to this EP, I'd spent a year intentionally alone by myself, and it was the first time in um, my really adult life that I had done that. I had been in a very serious relationship, um, and I took the time to figure out what I wanted, and, and it started with the really small things, like what was bringing me joy? Well, I like to go on a walk every day, you know what I mean? Like little things, I love to cook, like, and noticing those things and 
the more you do them, I feel like you start coming into your own and building confidence and trusting your decisions <laughs> even because you're respecting yourself and your needs. No, absolutely. I, I hear that. And and coming from, you, you, you know, uh, from you, you know, a lot of young people and older people do struggle yeah. with, you know, loneliness, not only lo but their mm -hmm. own individuality right. and, you know, not being able to not feeling comfortable or yeah. empowered enough mm -hmm. to share who you are right. with others mm -hmm. and not realizing that we're all different yeah. and yes. we all have a gift yes. to share. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah.